Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm just gonna walk you through my wireless charging setup in the center console down here in the F10. Um, before we get into it, just a little disclaimer that I'm having about $3,000 worth of parts laying around for future retrofits that I've planned and other mods. It's gonna be interior, XT performance, so if you're interested you're just gonna subscribe you will see maybe it's already out by the time you watch this video and if not it's gonna come soon with that said i just look into the center console right here i'm just gonna show you this is my current charging setup it is just a little adapter for the cigarette outlet and a cable this is a lightning cable because it's mostly iphones in here and this is what happens, they crack because of the angle that lays in here. Not ideal, um, the cable is long enough so you can use it, but preferably, I don't like this, I never liked it, I want to make it different. So there's no real adapter to add wireless charging for the F10s. There is some for the F30s apparently, but it doesn't work here. I also don't want to change the entire tray to make it deeper to get rid of it. Actually, it fits the phone nicely. So I got two parts, um, fairly inexpensive, got it on Amazon. I'm going to link them in the description. One is a wireless charging pad. So I want to try this, it's fairly simple. Um, I went with this one because it's flat, it's somewhat squarish, and you can cut the corners apparently, you can tailor it a little bit. And it's supposed to be a 15 watt. And to go along with this, I got this thing, it is just a higher output adapter than what I have in here. And we're gonna see if this works and if I like it, or if I just keep the cable. And by the way, Keen I notice it. Yeah, that's a original BMW adapter. So let's see if the new one is a little bit smaller than this one or not. So the BMW adapter puts out five volt with max of two ampere. And there's a knob, literally, apparently puts out 5 volt and 3 ampere, so it should charge a little faster. I also have two different plugs here, USB-C and I think PD is just a USB-C, by the look of it. Comes with the cable, weighted cable apparently, USB-C to USB-C, not bad. For everybody who's not using an iPhone, this might be used for cable. For me, it's not. So, this is what it is. Um, also, because this out, pamphlet cares. That's and let's get to this thing here. The more interesting part we have in here one hand unboxing. Five watt. This is the pad, so I can stick on the back side. Leave it on. Yeah. Well, you're not gonna see it anyway. But this is why you don't need the cable. There's a cable built in. Also meaning if this has a problem, if it bends or cracks, you need to do charging pad. And we're having directly USB. Apparently, this little adapter charges faster with the USB-C. But still, three ampere should be doing should be enough. So, and this is all. All the two pieces. You have the adapter to go from 12 to 5 volt to feed into the charging pad. But I am, if you can see this now, it's black on black on black. I'm gonna trim this a little bit on top here to fit in there, and if necessary, back here so it fits nicely and snug in here. And then I just have to hide the cable a little bit under here, tuck it away, because that's the point, I don't want to have the cable around. Um, this is way too much here, but it is what it is. If I get it underneath here, over there, that'll be fine with me. And I think there's also, yeah, here it is, little sticky pads. So once I cut it to size, then I will just literally tape it down here on the adapter. 
So we're just going through paperwork and everything for the pad, um, trying to find the trim again. Actually, there's nothing that comes with the product that says that you can trim it. But when you go into the listing, um, link in the description below, then you will see that it shows you can trim these here. It just says trim along the line. I believe this is just a marble block here, so you can trim it however you like. And the actual charging pad is inside here, so the this hexagon surface. And this will be the edge, and you can trim easily, like it's square here. Only thing is, it's going to be actually a little bit smaller than an iPhone 13, but it shouldn't be a big problem. And I also noticed that the input for this one is just about 2 ampere. So with that, my original BMW USB adapter should still be sufficient when, it, when it's putting out 2.1 ampere. And the new one is just a little bit, I mean 2 or 3 millimeter um, less profile. Only difference is it is um, nice metal versus the BMW is plastic. You can feel in the weight. This is quite hefty, it's a nice metal and this is plastic, but this is putting out 2.1, that should be enough. This would be almost a little bit overkill. Um, on the upside, I would keep a second USB here to charge if I need to, just to have a cable in here. This one I would have to get for like an iPhone for example, I need another adapter, which I'm not doing that. So not sure if I'm gonna keep this one or not, Definitely feels like a quality product, but may not suit my case best. I'm gonna try with this one first. So I just cut the bottom end and I cut it open just like I anticipated. It's just a piece of rubber block, so you can shape this however you need it. So it doesn't fit ideally because you have underneath here this little hump that is in the way in preventing it from laying full flat, unfortunately. Um, but I tried it, it does charge, but this little corner here, this little hump is kind of annoying. And the other annoyance is this, whatever that is for, uh, because this cable should be a little longer here so I can tuck it somewhere. Because now I can't put it here, because it's going to interfere with the phone when it's on there. So I have to have it up here. It needs dead space anyway, it's not being used, but it's metal on a plastic, it may rattle. I have to see if I have to wrap it in something and what I do with it, if it does cause any problems. And then of course there's plenty of cable that is not needed. But I tried it, it works. Now I'm just gonna use the um, provided pads to stick it on here. I'm tucking the cable in here so it's out of the way. And then I'm gonna see how it works. So phone is in. I think this is a 13. Um, and you see it fits barely in here. And actually it does have an angle, it's not perfectly touching. There is a gap here, so I can put my finger underneath here. It's between the pad and the phone. But it's charging, the green light indicates. And once you take it off, this will turn red. There it is. And trying my wife's phone in her case, I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, I think this is the problem with the case. Or a bigger phone. Um, it will not charge because it doesn't have enough contact surface to actually charge. Let's get my full finger underneath here. Well, it's definitely a downside. And that means I will have to keep a cable in here just for the wife so she can charge her phone. But mine, same size as this thing here, fits barely ish and it charges. So that works for me, at least for the moment. Um, I'm still no fan of this insert. The alternative would be to change this entire tray to get rid of the entire aisle here that has the phone cradle. You would change this entire insert box here. And because underneath here is actually space, there's nothing really. You get a bit of that, take a bit of the cable underneath, and then you have one deep pocket here. I kind of like this staggered because I have like smaller things that just falls to the side here. Phone is always sitting on top. Um, not the biggest fan of the cable situation either. It's not ideal. I added some electrical tape to the bottom here so the metal doesn't scratch on the plastic all the time. It starts sounding very nice. Um, not the best of options, um, but for the price considering 
and for the phone that you use again case is not gonna do it not enough space on here um it is what it is alternatively take this entire thing out put a new box in here and try again i'm gonna try this for a while and see how i can live with it if it charges my phone again i have to keep a separate cable for the wife's phone it doesn't charge or she has to take it out of the case which shouldn't be a big problem either but if your phone is any bigger than a 13 or 13 pro then this won't work because there's already no space anymore if you have smaller phones though you should be fine it's a really sticky rubbery surface so the phone shouldn't fly around in there since there's no space anyway So and to end the video, after living with this charging pad for about a week now, I can say that I don't like it. I will take it out simply because, let me see, it does work. However, it does take more space away, obviously, and it doesn't give me that place back because of the cable we have here and this corner here and the phone barely fits in there. So it does fit. But it's not like you just tuck it in and off you go, it charges. No, you have to really put it into the exact spot down to half the millimeter so it starts charging. And that is just too much hassle. I just want to toss it in, charge. I don't want to have to every time, you know, tweak it to the exact perfect spot so it starts charging, especially when you're on the road or somewhere at the night. You don't want to have to pay that attention to it. So that's one thing. Plus it takes the space away and they have all the cables in there because they are so long. I'll take it out. I'm just going to use it as a just yeah, probably just as a charging pad um, on my bedside table. So because I can't return it since I cut it. For everybody who's considering this, be aware of it. it. It works, but it doesn't really fit my criteria on my standard. Right here, also for size reference, just a box of Tic Tac. It's apparently the exact width of this. And it does fit. The cable here is also not really in the way. There's nothing going on here. But the phone touches here. And of course here in this corner in the front. And the phone actually fits in here onto this, um, this little adapter perfectly. But somehow, I guess because of this edge here, this hump stays out because it's too wide. I don't want to like fiddle with the actual inlay here. It doesn't quite have the perfect contact unless you really push it and latch it into the right position and then it charges and it's just a little too much too much effort to get it to work considering the space it takes away because it is not as big but like about two thirds of this tic tac box so it does take the space I usually can stack two phones in here on top of each other now I can't so yeah that's just my feedback on this one i take it out it doesn't always work but so is life things don't always work out the way you intended or planned it to it is what it is i can live with that luckily that just been a small experiment we're gonna have much bigger ones on the channel coming up soon so stay tuned thanks for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next video